Hello, my name is Ornitza, and in this video, I'm going to show you the two-step SMS authentication. So you can use it in order to keep your users secure with the two-step SMS authentication feature. This is a mechanism to double check that your identity is legitimate. So how to enable and configure it? First of all, you have to register as Cricketel. On Cricketel dashboard, you have to choose the SMS integrations. Then you have to click activate now and set up billing details. You can calculate the pricing here. There is a link to touch. Now the integration is activated. You have to choose the SMS integration again and copy the API key. In your website admin panel, you have to go to settings, general, and then you have to enable the function. You have to paste the API key into the clickatel field, and you have to press save. Now I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. As you can see, I'm already registered. You have to register. The website is user-friendly, so it's really easy. When you log in, over here, you scroll down and you have to manage SMS integrations. This one over here. You click on it. And now you can set up your test phone. You have to enter your unique code. The next step is to create new integration. Over here, you have to name your integration and you can put an enter description if you'd like, or you can skip that. Just have one way messaging or two way messaging, the delivery type. You have some features available and also settings. You can enable message parts, convert mobile numbers into international format, protect my account from fraud. These are all options that you can check out on the web port. Okay. And if you just want to add the two step authentication SMS, you can just click and copy the API key. Then you have to go to settings, general. You scroll down and over here you can find the feature. You enable it, paste the API key and save the changes. Okay, now when your changes are saved, you just go to your website. And over here, you have to put the code that they've sent to your number. Okay, so basically that's it. You're ready. Your two-step SMS authentication is finished. There are some features that you can also put. You can set an initial country. It will make it easier for your customers to log in or register to your site. You just have to select the country. This way the country's code will be default country code in the phone field in the register over here. Then you have to log in and publish a new page. By doing that, you can easily register users on your website. You just have to go to settings, general, regional, and then country. Now how it works, as I already mentioned, a user registers on your website or posts an ad. A user account is created and the user goes to edit profile page and enters their phone number. 
After updating the profile details, the user will get a verification code by messaging on his phone and you will need to enter it in the page. This is just the thing that I showed you a moment ago. Now the user is uh, authenticated and the two-step SMS authentication is enabled to his account. It's pretty simple. Now register and log in with phone number. There are users can choose to register with their email and password or with their phone number. Then uh, the way that they have to log in, an already registered user visits your site. He or she chooses to log in with the phone number and enters their number. If it's a valid and a profile account with that phone is found, we send a code. The user enters the code and if the code is valid, they're successfully logged in. It's really simple. I'm going to show you how to set an initial country. Now we have to go to settings. Over here, uh, as you can see, you have to go to settings, general, regional, and then country. So go to general settings. Over here, we have the regional. Over here, we have country. You just have to put the country that you would like to target because the code will automatically be displayed in your website. Now, if I want to register on my website, I already received an SMS message, but if I want to register on the website, full register and the default country is Algeria. So that's what you can do with the features. Thank you for watching the video and I hope it was helpful.